Yeah, good day, guys. We are back at Timbergold. And we're going to go after bighorn sheep and ptarmigan, which I don't, you know, overly hunt. So I'm just looking for my beautiful G10. And we have birdshot there. I'll whack them in and we'll grab some more of that ammo. Check out what we're doing. All right, here's birdshot. So I've got a few of them. Whack them in. Now we can't call sheep or uh, ptarmigan. So that's cool. I like a couple more there, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna need that many. I'm gonna check the equipment. I won't need a turkey caller. <laughs> uh, we can keep that on us. I don't know, we don't need a jackrabbit. Is that a, that is an elk bugle. We can keep that on us. And a deer grunt, why not? And uh, I think that's all I need. Someone asked the other day in the comments about camping gear. Now if you wanna use camping gear, just put it in your inventory. And then if you want to travel to a tent, uh, yeah, it, all you need to do is have it on you. I just want to check the lodge for a quick minute. Show you, I've changed it around just a little bit. And then we'll head up. Let's get this crazy thing out of my hand. Here we are. Back in the game, my friends. Let's press E for excitement. <laughs> Not really. And uh, check out the lodge. I've got a new, a couple of new things in here. I have to change it around a bit or else it gets a bit boring. I think you know what I mean. Alright, and there's last week's elk. Look at that. It is gorgeous. It was uh, at 17. Now I'm like 50. So yeah, I've dropped out of the top 20. That, that is probably my biggest ruse about elk ever. Like, that was awesome to get. We hit it with a bow and arrow. And, uh, yeah, I made it a, a skull mount. So, I think it looks pretty cool like that. Because the main thing you want to see is those big antlers. What else did I do last week? I put a little wolfie here. Yeah, it's not a huge wolf. I just like the, the grey wolves. And I haven't had one in here. So, we'll whack the wolf in. Did I change anything else? We got you. Oh, yeah, I'll put a, um, a blonde grizzly bear in. Once again, not a super huge bear. But I haven't seen a blonde one for ages, and we got one a little while back, and I did uh, taxidermize it. So I thought, yeah, let's whack it in there. And I don't think anything else has changed. No, 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 all the same here. So, yeah, just a few new additions. Our wolf, our big Roosevelt elk, and, of course, the blonde... Grizzly bear, that looks awesome, that pose. Doesn't have many poses, the bear. Oh well, you know, it is the classic. So I thought we'd walk up to where I want to go today. So let's get out of this, uh, out of this lodge. Here we are, we are out. As the music plays. Now let me just put a little waypoint on my map here. We're going to head up here, of course. So I'm just going to whack a waypoint. To about there, so we can uh, not get lost, which is uh, awesome. And I have to go this way through the old werewolf paddock where, uh, man, used to get attacked in here <laughs> back when werewolf day was on. Now, oh yeah, let's check it out. Uh, we do have a shotgun, G10 for the ptarmigan. We'll load that bloody thing. And my trusty old bull pup. Which I can use on multiple animals here. And it's good for the sheep. It'll take a sheep out, no problem, mate. Here's the old shooting range. So, yeah, this used to be a horror at werewolf time. You come through here and you'd have like three of them running at you. It was crazy. Now, where have I got my elk crawler? Because there still will be elk around here. Maybe even a mule deer. So I'll give a little call while we're walking up. I have got an elk up this way before. We didn't bring a bow and arrow today. It's very hard to get close to the sheep, so I'm not even going to waste my time. Oh, 
I have here a dedicated bow hunter. I do like bow hunting in this game, as you know. But uh, we're going to shoot them today. It's a gun day. As I have been uh, using the bow quite a lot in the latest videos. Some of these gun nuts might miss out. <laughs> you do get bears around here too. I've uh, been attacked by grizzlies around this area as well. But once you get so far up, you leave all their mantles behind. And all you get is... Uh... Oh, you do get the... What are they? Puma up here as well. So you get those, the sheep and the ptarmigans. Usually the ptarmigans are pretty good here. Like they are pretty active and you can get a fair few. So hopefully we can do that today. I did enter a couple of competitions. This is in a multiplayer game today. Because if I head up here and then I get a bunch of people coming up to the same area. It's not a very big area. And the sheep are so skittish that uh, you've got to be really quiet. Because they're prey. So um, <laughs> they're very skittish. It's going to be very hot today. It's already over 30 degrees. It's going to get to 40. Today we have a mini heat wave in autumn. I think tomorrow is 38, 39. The next day, same thing. So uh, three days of boiling hot weather. Hot nights. So I thought I'd start a bit earlier today. And plus my uh, football team plays tonight on TV. So I'll be watching that. First game of the year. So I want to see that. I just love this map. I know I've been coming here a lot recently. That's why I thought we'll go up and check out the bighorn sheep and ptarmigan. I've been down along the river so much and uh, we've been shooting uh, elk and mule deer and wolf. Love the wolf. So we'll just slowly make our way up to the top. I do have a tent up there. Like I could have started there, but I do like the walk up here. And I haven't done it for a while. What have we got? We've got a grizzly. we got a grizzly, man. And I didn't bring my pistol, eh? So, it'll be, um... It'll be this gun. I don't think we can see it. It's still pretty far off. But we'll head towards it. And see if he kills us. Might get angry. The bear was angry that day, my friend. Yeah, it's uh, somewhere out here. It's in that autumn bit there. Now it's a male. It's usually the females that will run at you. Every now and again a male will. Uh, I find the females more aggressive for some reason. They're angry. <laughs> They're angry. No Ellie this weekend. So uh, she's got an 18th birthday party tomorrow. I think she's working today. So I might do another stream tomorrow if it's uh, the house isn't too boiling hot by then. I don't really like having my fan on in the background. Although we do have cars going down the road in the background. And probably today, my, who knows, my neighbours might pop out and start mowing their lawn as usual when I stream on a Saturday. Let's see what we can find. Nice to get that grizzly. As long as we leave this area, we won't be seeing him anymore. He was around here. I can't even hear him now. He might have ran. Bears can run pretty quick. Which is uh, amazing. I can't even see any tracks, man. Seen nothing. Oh, here's a track here. Let's see which way it was walking. Oh, multiple ways. Maybe he went up the hill. Let's find out. No, oh, he went that way. 
I think. They do walk around in circles a bit, bears, so it can be confusing. I just don't mind them charging me, actually. At least you know where it is. It's right in front of you, coming at you. Like a train. So it went up. Hello. Still roaming, it's not fleeing. Maybe it didn't hear us. Well, not yet. Still roaming, now it's just giving me a back way. That's the problem sometimes, is you come across old tracks and confuses you which way it's walking. It is going this way and we're getting closer. According to this, the circle's tightening. It's nice when they stop a bit and you sort of catch up to them. They do uh, constantly move bears all the time. Still running. Multiple tracks. Fleeing. Ah, you damn bear, mate. See? It's not a... Was... Oh, got it even a wolf, man. Let's see if we can see the wolf. Because the bear has taken off. I actually didn't bring the wolf caller. I wasn't expecting the... You know... Once we get up there, we're not going to find Wolf. Oh, I can hear them breathing. It's telling me it was over here. But they're very sensitive too. They will run. I was hoping they'd make the wolf so it'd attack. Oh yeah, can you hear that really close? Dude, I heard you bark then. I'm gonna put the gun in my hand in case uh, it pops out here somewhere. It actually, sounded like it was behind me then. Oh, is that it up there? Did I just see something move? Yes, there it is. Ah, uh -huh. patience pays off, man. I could hear it doing that mouthing noise, but it, it sounded a bit behind me, but it, it went from over there to over here. It was like it was alone. I didn't hear anything else run off. Hopefully it's a male. We do get a wolf to start the hunt on the Tarmogen and Bighorn Sheep Hunt, so pretty cool. And we did uh, have a bear near us that ran away. Or oh, it could be a female, it looks a bit small, I don't know. Let's check it. It's a male. Uh, 16. We're going to get 60. Not a bad sized wolf, I suppose. Alright, let's uh, continue on. We've scared the whole area now. <laughs> the bear will run for sure. It was nice to start the day, wolf, because they're one of my favourite animals here. But I thought maybe when they bought this game out, like when, they, say there was three wolf or more, that, you know, the alpha wolf might uh, attack you and then the other ones might attack. I thought that'd be pretty cool if they'd done that. Because I don't mind getting killed by animals. It's okay. But yeah, they don't attack at all. I just thought they'd do it like real life. Real life wolves probably don't attack a lot, but... 
you know, if you're sort of in their territory, maybe they'll uh, get a bit, um, a bit angry at you. It's the old autumn area. It's nice, isn't it? Alright, so let's scrub that mark on the map. It's uh, clear. And I'll put another one about here. Now, I've been walking up here before and got some nice uh, elk. Uh, you know, I don't know. We might have scared them all off now. We'll call them, oh, that's a mule deer. Yeah, I hope we get a few nice big horn sheep today. I don't mind hunting them. I think I've only done a couple of videos on big horn sheep though, so I thought we'd come up here today because I said to Ali we should come up here and hunt those uh, big horn sheep and ptarmigan. She doesn't really like ptarmigan. <laughs> I don't mind them. Alright, we're getting up to the area now where we'll start running out of normal animals up here, up there. Just start turning to big horn sheep area. There's a big um there's like a railway up here, if I remember rightly, in a tunnel. You see how the the ground even starts to change? So it's not far from that outpost that we started at. You can just, if you don't have a tent like I do set up here, it doesn't take long to walk up into the area where you're looking for the sheep. Yeah, have a bit of a walk, a little bit of a hunt on the way. I remember you got the cats up here as well. Oh, they're pretty elusive. I haven't shot many of them. I think you can have that electronic caller thing and uh, set up a tree stand and uh, call them in like that. You might get a few more. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't think we're going to find any bear, elk or wolf now, from now on. We're hitting the, the high end of the land here. We have a climb. Yeah, these uh, sheep, man, if the wind blows their way or they just hear, they really, they take off. I didn't enter a competition for the sheep and ptarmigan. Uh, it probably won't do any good, but I thought since it's a single player game, I might as well. You never know your luck, you know what I mean? Just never know what's going to happen. Yeah, so now we've entered a whole different uh, terrain, a whole different area. It's nice to have uh, put this top area on the map. Like I said, I don't come up here much because I like the grizzlies, the wolf, and <laughs> the mule deer and elk down there. It's worth it to pay a visit, just to have another look around. You can uh you can get killed up here if you fall off some of the peaks. So you gotta be careful sometimes. I have a uh, jumping off just for fun to see how long I last. You do die pretty quick on the steep hills. So <laughs> sometimes it looks funny though. So there's the railway bridge there.
uh, I'm stuck on rocks. It's the only thing in this game. Sometimes you just get stuck. Like again, stuck. But not a problem. Just walk around them. Look at that, there we go. That's where we usually are, all the way down there. You can see the river, I think, from here. Is that it there? Uh, oh, that's that, uh, I think that's a lake there. That's where that paddle boat's theme, I think, is, I think. Alright, the old hunter, mate. This is your best tool in this game. It does look nice up here, doesn't it? It's like set between three sort of, or I don't know, it's just one mountain range and then there's another one there. And you're in the valley down there. Alright, let's start hearing sheep, let's start hearing ptarmigans flying. It looks like the wind is uh, blowing at my back a bit, which is a bummer at the moment. Not even any tracks yet. I have seen sheep down here before, like just on these hills on the way up. Not today, not at the moment. See, nice walk up, didn't take long. I still wish, um, even on this map would be good if once a year they put on a Bigfoot or something for a week or two. It'd be awesome, wouldn't it? One that you could taximodise and put in your uh, lodge. I think that'd be a good thing and spark uh, more interest in the game. Bigfoot week. Maybe one day, eh? but yeah, probably not. <laughs> Let's not get our hopes up too high. I think it'd be a good idea though. All right, this is uh, these don't have trains on them, so you could stand here all day. Unlike uh, some of the tracks in Call of Wild, a train will kill you. This has no trains. And so far, deadly quiet. Uh, let me put another dot now, so we're here. Point of interest, point of interest, what's that? Other point of interest. So let's put a dot near my tent now. And hopefully soon. Oh, we did get a wolf, so we have had a start. At least we've got a start at the moment. But it'll be a bit slower hunting up here, unless the ptarmigan are flying like crazy. Compared to in the valley. Well, that's what I found anyway. Maybe I'm just a bit too noisy. Although I try not to be, I have stalked these sheep before. Just sat in one area. We're after a big male. I think the females you still get money if you shoot them um, with the sheep. But I don't mind. I did 
get a big male one. So I think it was once again before the lodges. There goes a ptarmigan over there. Look, there they are. See what I mean? There's a few of them. They look like. Where are they going? Are they coming down here? The gun that side over there. All right, we're looking at it. It's so far away. At least we saw a few, and they did come in a not bad uh, size flocks here. That's why I bought the G10. Like you can just it holds six, and you can bang them all out pretty much at once. The G20 is all right, but only holds uh, three. And uh, if he's bird hunting, don't put scopes on your on your gun. Just gets in the way. Well, that's my experience anyway. Like your duck hunting, goose hunting, ptarmigans or anything like that. There's no use putting um, a scope on. So we just heard one then. There's probably could have been them over there. But it didn't come up on the hunter, mate. Yeah, a lot of people will be down the beach today. It's a long weekend, actually, here in Melbourne. Um, so a lot of people will be going away. Man, they're gonna, it's going to be hot out there. It would actually be nice to be down the beach, but I'd have to not make sure I can get sunburn and uh, probably be super packed since it's going to be 40 degrees. Every man and his dog will be down there. This is the hottest day we've had and it's not summer now. Seriously. I think the hottest we got during summer was maybe 38. And now we're going to have a day at 40. And it's autumn. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't think the world knows what season it is. Uh, here's a track here. What are we looking at? These could be ptarmigans. They've been roaming. So they just have a little spy around. I can hear ptarmigans. Yeah, you hear that little sound? I can't tell which way they are. See if the hunter mate can pick that up. No. Let's try to see if I can see any of them flying. They could be back this way. Let's go by the tracks we just saw. Trying to see if I can hear them. I'm hearing a lot of traffic on the road. It's perfect when they actually fly right over you. Sounds like in the distance I'm hearing that wing sound. Sneaky. I love using the shotgun. I like a bit of shotgun hunting. I haven't used this in ages, Matt. Like, we haven't been out, you know, anything that really needed a, a 
shotgun. Well, not a bird shot anyway. Hear the sound? Can you guys hear that? Something's flying. No, we're just going to keep walking up the hill. And be alert. Why would it whistle again on this? Is it Al? It is Al. Alright, I, I wanted to double check. It's handy to have the whistle. Not <laughs> which button it is, especially if you're pheasant hunting. Alright, if there was a sheep around, I'd probably scared it now by whistling, but. Let's check these tracks. I'm hearing that sound, man. It's getting closer, where are you? Ptarmigans are flying. I think my avatar needs glasses. <laughs> Can't see him. Keep this handy. Because they're so small, if they're a little bit in the distance, sometimes they're really hard to pick up exactly where they are. So I just heard again. Oh yeah, yeah, man, it's just in front of me. And you want it to fly and not run. They will run sometimes and you'll never see it in this grass. So let's see if we can walk towards it and make it fly up. I might have to give a whistle soon. Hopefully it's more than one. I didn't hear somewhere. Eyes to the sky. Don't run like a chicken. Take off and fly, you mongrels. So I don't have my sunglasses on, do I? No, I don't. This went dark all of a sudden, very cloudy. Alright, so ever elusive, we're hearing them. Not seeing them really. Just make sure we're walking the right way. Yeah, pretty much. See, it was around here, I can't even see any tracks. tracks all right we're gonna walk up the hill sign of any sheep yet either not even a sound 
It's nice when you see a sheep like there, right? Like you're here and the sheep's over there and they don't know you're here yet. As long as you get a little bit closer, just, you know, crouch along so you get a good shot in and then, you know, boom. You hit it with a 7 mil uh, bullet and it just goes pretty much straight down. Let's put the shotgun back in her hand in case something crazy happens. And another track. Could this be a sheep? No, more tarmogens. So the sheep sometimes, like when we get up here, there's these areas like that, and you do find them a lot standing around, or climbing up the hills very high. They're good climbers. Ah, my skill level has reached three for ptarmogens. I'm on fire. Oh, jad. There's probably more ptarmogen stuff. Yep. You betcha. Let's keep looking at the distance to see if we see a sheep. Is it really hard to sneak up on? Yeah, if you've got the right wind and you're super quiet and stuff, yeah, you might be able to do it. Because they're so skittish, it does make it hard sometimes. Uh, no, this is definitely where you start to find sheep, for sure. Or ptarmogens. Oh, is that a poop? How old is this? It's telling me. It's telling me it's Roman, even though it's a poop. got the cats up here as well you hear them a lot and geez they're hard to see sometimes you get like more cats up here than you will down in the valley area It's nice and quiet walking on this bit. What's that? Is that a collectible? What is this? It is. We got us a mule deer antler, really? All the way up here. It's certainly lost. There's uh, one lost mule deer, man. I'm hearing something. Sounds like a... Like a sheep. Something's walking. Where are you? Are you over the ridge and I can't see you? Can't be below us, we just walked up there. I don't know if you guys can hear that, like I can hear feet shuffling. Sounds like it's over here. So we're just going to be very slow and careful now. Something to just pop up over that rise would be nice, wouldn't it? The old big horn. Make a sound so I can pick you out where you are. Are 
just walked off a bit. Let's get up here and check across this side. That sounds closer, maybe. Where are you? Man, it sounds like it's behind me. I'm not sure. I was say, look, there's horns. That's a tree. <laughs> and these big bloody horns. Maybe there's more than one. I don't know. could be behind me though if it is because we just walked up here Say nothing. I can hear it. I'm not sure these crazy headphones give me an accurate, like, sound indication of exactly where it is. I'm just going to check all around me. Oh, there, 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 there. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a beauty to start the bloody hunt with. Do you see the curls on that thing? I was going to say, I don't think they're behind me because we walked up there and they're so sensitive that you'd think, you know, hey. Man, that is lucky. This is a beauty. We're going to take a photo of this one. This could come into the lodge, mate. We don't know. Look at it. Look at the curls on this thing. Let me just take this out of my hand for a minute. Look at that! Oh, I'm actually uh, automatically walking. Look at that thing. Sort of brown, isn't it? I thought that was sort of grey. Man, that was worth uh, just sitting back waiting to, to come on up. Because, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're going to take a photo of our little furry friend here. Uh, 188 we're gonna get 65 oh, rarity dark All right, I am gonna actually take some of those this for, for 10 EMs thank you now I want to take a trophy shot so we've got a new friend for the lodge oh that's only my 25th big horn sheep arena come on mate and I'm number one in the top uh, bighorn starter. So maybe it is a good size sheep. Seems to be. Uh, let's put the old rifle in our hand. And let's, uh, since I don't have the poses, you're going to have to bear with me, guys. Because, uh, oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Look at that. Let's zoom in. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Yeah, that is a nice sheep. And this could be the biggest sheep I've ever gotten, mate. So let's uh, take a photo of Reno. Let's try a filter to brighten it up. If we can. Oh, clarity, my friends. I thought we were going to have to go with the original. But look at that. Look at those horns there, man. And we've taxidermized it. Man, I couldn't ask for a better sheep to start my hunt. Hey, seriously. And we're number one in the competition. Let's hopefully we stay there. I don't have a big horn sheep trophy. And, you know, 
I reckon that's the biggest big horn I've ever got. So hopefully they can stay at least in the top five in this competition. Well, that seemed pretty... As soon as I saw it, I went, wow, that's nice. All right, so let's uh, reload guns before we forget. Let's put shotgun back in our hand because the sheep will be... have would have run a little bit now. I think he may have been alone, I'm not sure. Like, he was the first one that popped out, which is beautiful. Half the time you get the little female pop out, and then they spook, and then you watch your big fella run off. You go, oh, there it goes, look, he's huge. And <laughs> it's running off in the distance. And you're sort of like, no! But we got so lucky then, it just popped out in front of us. I wasn't sure it was behind me, in front of me, at the side of me. Because for a while there, these headphones are a bit weird. And it sounded like it was coming from behind me. And I'm thinking, no, I can't be. We just walked up there. And I was right. It wasn't behind us. Let's check this. Uh, if it's a lion, it could be a sheep. It is. Fleeing. So maybe he did have a little friend with him. Maybe a couple. Maybe he was just the first one that popped out. So I'll get up on a high bit here and I'll have to look around and just see what's in the distance. That's how you, that's like the closest, I could have shot that with a bow and arrow, it was that close. I usually don't get that close to him. So he sort of wandered into us. See, when you look at these sides here, this is where I do get, a, I see a lot of sheep. They come up on these rocks and they stand around. So sometimes you're shooting at a fairly long distance. Which is fine, as long as, you know, if you've got a steady gun. If it's a high uh, level gun and you're pretty steady with it. It should be fine. Let's just have a sneak here, because sometimes, you know, in this game, these animals, they will flee a bit, but they'll turn around and go back, because they're heading for an area. So we'll just stay nice and quiet, look at the edges, and see what we can see. Yeah, what a nice sheep to start the hunt, though. I was hoping we'd get a nice male today, and uh, straight off the bat, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to better that like that. I'm pretty sure that's one of the biggest big horns I've ever gotten. And it was a dark one. I was going to say, it looks dark. Like they're usually sort of grey. Grey, whitey, or off-white, grey colour. And that was really dark. For just Maybe they put in a, you know more fur variations since I've hunted them. Might even get a po polka dotted one, who knows. They do make a noise that the hunter mate can pick up. Sometimes they're really hard to see too, like when they are grey they just really match into that dirt. I'm thinking of buying another um, lodge soon. So I can run two lodges. We'll see. To do that, I might have to put some real money in the game, though. Because they're probably the most expensive thing in the game, isn't it? Is the lodge. So we know there's a, that one had a little uh, herd with him. I could have ran anywhere. I didn't really follow the tracks. Yeah, I do, you know, this is what, how the distance I usually shoot a sheep at. Say it's there. <laughs> that's that's uh, usually how close I get to them. We got really lucky. We could have shot that with a bow and arrow. As I was standing, walking up that hill, then I heard the feet. I went, oh. 
Something's coming. Oh, there's a hunter, mate. Alright, we're near my tent now, so. There it is, there. Is that my tent? See something orange? There it is. There's a tent. So I've got a tent up here. I've got a tower. For some reason, I put a tower. There's something to do. I might have to move that. Like, you don't usually tower hunt sheep because you can't call them in. Must have been one of my weird moods that day. Right, here's another track in front of us. I think sometimes, if I remember rightly, sometimes it snows up here, man. Oh, I'm hearing something. I'm still hearing feet near me. Can I get up on this thing? Maybe they're walking back to that spot where we shot our buddy. Let's just sit here for a minute and just uh, suss it out. If they're in there, they're hard to see. The wind's sucking a bit now. It's blowing towards them. I think we might have got our biggest sheep of the day, right? Already. I'm here in feet. Hopefully they pop out like that one did. They do walk slow. They run fast, walk slow. They sort of amble on in. Hear them? I don't know if you guys can hear it. So I've got the desktop up as much as the microphone, so, although this game is a quiet game. Where are you dudes? Sounds like it's over here. Once again, these headphones aren't the most accurate for sound. I'm just going to scan around. It does sound like it's here somewhere. If they don't look at me directly and walk here, I if they're up there and just shoot them in the butt. You know, where are you, sheep? Pity we can't call them in. I know, you know. Sheep don't answer calls, obviously. So now I can't hear them. I can again. They sort of must be stopping and starting. Now it sounds like it's up here. Sounds like it's walking away from me. Let's look for tracks, man. Hey, how you going? Hi, streamer. Yep, I'm. I'm streaming. I like to stream this game. Hope you're having a good day. Let me try and say your name. Lay Poz Sad Glue. Oh, it's hard to say, man. I mean, these people have really hard names. And I'm stupid, so. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're having a good weekend. If it's the weekend there for you at the moment. It's a Saturday afternoon here. 
a very hot day in Australia. I can't hear the feet anymore. I can't even see any tracks. So. These headphones could be uh, playing silly games with me. You are. It is the weekend. That's the way. It's always good when the weekend rolls around, eh? You can do what you want. Right, we're going to keep heading up. We're going to keep going this way. I'm going to stand and walk. So one wolf, one sheep at the moment we've gotten. I hope we can get a few more sheep. And some ptarmigans. Once we start shooting ptarmigans, the, all the sheep are going to run away. <laughs> A little panic. Let's just keep looking ahead up these hills though. So we can see any sheep just standing around waiting to be plucked off. Waiting to be killed. I'm stuck on some on a rock. Awesome. Haven't heard any cats yet. Yeah, but the sheep, sometimes if they're just standing there, you won't see them sometimes because they just blend in. And they can be very hard to see. Well, that dark one, that was awesome, man. I hope I can stay in front in that competition. I don't mind getting a big horn sheep trophy. It'd be awesome. But I don't think there's many people in it. It might have only just started, or maybe a lot of people aren't doing the big horn sheep hunt. Like, I'm not really sure. I'd have to check. But I thought, since I'm having a single player game today, I'd enter Tarmogen competition and Bighorn Sheep one. Because of all the trophies I've gotten, like I, you know, I got second in a feral uh, pig one once, and I don't set up a barrel and try and do it like that. I just sort of go out and hunt. I can hear feet again. This area is so hard to see, but it's just there. I'm not going to see it because of these trees. I want to get somewhere higher. It's Jeez, that sounds close. Is it up here? Oh, there's Tarmogen. Look. Damn you, Tarmogen. How dare you. This sheep sounds like it's down here somewhere. There's a track there. So I'm going to walk through here and come down. But on some parts of this map, they're very hard to uh, get the right angle. But that's hunting. you got to earn it. Man, if it's just across there, we're in, we're in, in luck, man. Are you Tarmogens? So uh, put the shotgun in her hand as well. Do like me a pigeon, mate. I mean, they're about the size of a pigeon, aren't they? The ptarmigans. I don't even see the sheep. It sounded like it was walking through there. You know, a bit below the tent. Oh, look, there goes another Tarmogen, look. So now I can't hear the sheep. I'm on a freaking, um, fleed. 
I'm stuck again, aren't I? Let's get over this side so we can see stand up. Oh man, too steep, huh? My avatar's a bit fat or something, being on the donuts and pizzas, mate. Oh, I've been offline. What are you doing there, avatar? See, now you can see down here good. I reckon the sheep was in here somewhere. That's what it sounded like. Now, if it didn't spook, it could still be in here. But yeah, no, no sign. Let's walk on over this side. What's over here, Evan? I suppose with the big horn sheep, you really got to hunt them. Like, there's no calling them in. There's no easy way of sneaking up on them. You gotta be very careful. So it is like a you are hunting when you do the big horn sheep. Are you gonna fly my way? Or are you just going over the ridge there? I thought you're going away from me. Little little mongrel. Well there's another one there. So we've seen a lot of tarmages, done a flying overhead though. At the moment they're all in the freaking distance. Being smart, Alex, about the whole thing. Looking for sheep. Nice if you saw it there, hey, and you shot it and it just fell, you know, you'd, you'd have to then go all the way around to get it, which would be a pain. But it would look good. If it was a female, you could just leave it. So, yeah, whatever. These damn rocks, man. You can't see them and you walk and you just get stuck on it. I was going to go crouch through here and just... Uh, just be nice and slow. too steep. Once again, my fat avatar. <laughs> I get up the hill. Right. We'll eventually get up there. Slowly but surely. Like normal now. Oh, walk, not um, crouch. Look at that, that's a nice view. Why does sheep come in uh, albino and melanistic? I'm not really sure. Oh, we did get a dark one, but that's just a, a variation. It did look nice. It's going to look nice in the lodge. Alright, there's me tent. And we did hear the sheep. I reckon around there it was. Below the tent. And to that side. But, uh, yeah. Christ knows where it went. So 
So we'll walk into this area here and see what we find. Sorry for all the traffic noise, but it is uh, afternoon here and uh, got a big shopping centre up the road. People love to drive up there on the weekends and spend their money. There's some nice uh, long distance sniper shots on this map here yeah? for sheep if you you know seen it way over there. Oh look, Tarmogens. Why are they always going the wrong way today? Why are they always zapping across? Why couldn't they be coming this way? A fair income birds. Hope and see a sheep in the distance. This part of the map reminds you of a bit of a FPS sort of sort type of map, doesn't it? Yeah, all the birds keep uh, flying away from me. Are they hearing me? Like I'm hardly making any sound. It's just bad luck at this point. Yeah, definitely no sheep along there. No, we'll just walk, see what happens. So we can do in this game sometimes. Walk along, see what you find. There we go. Is that sort of snow? Is that supposed to be snow? I'm pretty sure it has snowed up here before when I've been here. Probably doesn't happen often. But it used to. I don't know if it still does. I imagine they'd keep the weather the same, right? So I've walked right across here. Like this top. Right across and then gone back down. Like along here. Oh, watch out, we don't die. As soon as you get a surprise, like you don't fall far and, and you die. It's like, what's going on? Well, I think I got a couple of medical uh, kits on me. In case something weird happens. In case I do die. And once again, Jesus Christ. I have to wear golf shoes up here so they dig in. <laughs> Put some spikes on them. I can hear a fly. Or a bee. Here's a fly. Let's cross here. Come on, Tarmogens. Come to the party, man. 
Don't be party poopers. Man, he's warming up here right now. And yeah, let's see your... Uh, Let's see what the temperature is. It's, I reckon it's 30 at the moment. Okay. Soon to be 40 apparently today. So about 3.30, 4 o'clock. It'll uh, be super hot. Don't die, don't die. Crazy mongrel. Come on, game. Give us something. That's what I mean, like, when you're down in the valley, you do hunt a lot better. Like, there's this sort of sometimes animal after animal up here. It's more of a, you know, you've got to be careful, we've got to really look around, and you've got to get lucky. Ah, I'm hearing ptarmigan wings flapping. Could we get lucky and have a couple of flyovers? Trying to see him. They do sound a bit away though. Oh, they're not right next to me or anything. Something's flying. I oh, don't die. Do not, do not fall and kill yourself. Let's have a look across here. Man, not a sheep in sight. We, had, we did hear some back there. We shot one nice, beautiful, big male. But now it's gone all quiet. Which is a bummer, but... Um, just persist, see what happens. Alright, there's my tower, it's just come in sight on the hunter, mate. I'll go show it to you. I don't know, I still don't really know why I put it here, but I did. <laughs> I should uh, take it back and put it down um, the bottom of the map somewhere. Where it'll become more handy because we can call them mule deer and elk down there and wolf and here we can't call in anything up this part of the map I think I put it there because I did see a lot of sheep hanging around on the ridge up there so I just put a towel there so you could just sit back and uh, you know see if any come along That'd probably a dumb idea oh, what are these tracks Tracks, we found tracks. Alright, Tarmogen, not sheep. We haven't heard one cat. Usually when I'm up here, you hear them cats. In the distance, they're usually a million miles away from here, but you hear them. I haven't heard any today. I'm hearing flies in my headphones. They're in the game, not in my house, so... I have a uh, fly sounds. I 
Let's check the tower. Hey, Sarge, how you going? Yeah, it was a beauty of a round, mate. That was, uh, I got so lucky with that. And so close. I could have shot it with a bow and arrow if I had it on me, but, um, I don't expect to get that close to them, usually. Yeah, I've, uh, taxmodized that, and, uh, and put that in my lodge, mate. You hunting sheep? At the moment, also. Now, I've been hunting them for ages, and I thought, well, you know, I do come to this map a lot. And it's, uh, spawned in your tank, got a puma, that's awesome, mate. Now, we have, I was just saying, we haven't heard a puma, um, here today at all. Usually you hear them, they are sort of a noisy cat. I haven't heard one, but sometimes they're more over, I found the puma more around this area, on the ridges. So we might check that later. Yeah, well, I got one good ram, but uh, since then, it's uh, gone dark. It is uh, just gone quiet, man. But I'm glad I got it. Like, you know, I like putting new things in the lodge. So that'll be going in, because it uh, is impressive. Oh, am I hearing sheep feet? I am. I'm hearing something walking, man. The thing is, can we find it? No, I don't think it's going to be behind me because we'll just walk through there. So it's going to be at the side or in front. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the headphones. I want to get up a bit higher. It doesn't sound too far away either. Like I don't know if it's in there or coming towards me. Let's just move with caution. Be another big ram, eh? I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky again today. Oh, let's look across here. So I don't want to make too much noise because they flee very fast. I'm still here in feet. What's that? That's nothing. Wish they'd make a sound, man. Wish they'd uh, go back so I knew where they were. Give me an indication, sheep. I'm just hearing your feet. The headphones I'm using are a bit of a hit and miss of exactly where it is. I hope we get in the tower. Look, there it is, just there, the tower. Could it be our saviour? Or our doom? I hope I get in there and just sit there quiet for a minute. Hopefully we have an uh, Made this sheep flee away. Nice green towel, look at that. It's a nice camo one. So the sheep cannot see it. <laughs> they can't see anything yeah, with camo. Right, let's just spy around. Wasn't well, super far away. I know that. So I put this here because I used to come here a lot, and then I'd find a lot of sheep out this way, and up along these rocks. So I thought I'll put a tower there. 
sort of stupid idea, but uh, yeah, it's here now. So I think I'm going to move it and uh, probably put it down in the valley. Because I do have a couple of spots picked up, picked out down there that I wouldn't mind a tower at. It might have ran off, might have spooked, might have heard me, smelt me, felt my existence in life, and decided to run away. What's that? Nothing. Sometimes you got to double look, because they, they, if they're grey, they'll just look like a rock standing there. But it's an actual sheep. Uh, I'm just going to have a little rest here for a minute anyway. Let's see if it pops up on the horizon. So yeah, the old sheep hunt, I don't do it a lot. Like today we got that sheep and I think it was only my 25th bighorn sheep. So as you can see, I haven't overly hunted them. So my um, skill level on them for tracking and uh, spotting won't be that high. But um, yeah, I should do a bit more of it. It's just sometimes when you make a video or do a stream, you want it to be a bit more lively. Like this, you know, when you hunt like this, it's uh, it's a bit slower. I sort of, you know, compare it to hunting ibex. usually you know don't get very close to them either you usually see hear them and then see them in the distance and uh, take a long shot at them and the ptarmigans have been uh, mongrels today I fair income I'm just gonna quickly go to the bathroom guys because I've just had coffee all day I'll be like a minute I'll be right back Maybe by then there'll be a whole flock of sheep around me. I doubt it. I might walk around again now. Like I said, I'm not really sure why I put this tower here. It's sort of a stupid idea. I think just because I had so many towers, I didn't really care. I've got to grab some of the ones that are off Logger's Point as well. I put a ton of them there. I hardly ever hunt at Logger's Point. I'm hearing no ptarmigans. Right, let's get out of the tower. Out. Oh. Haven't even shot in the tarmogen yet. Why are they being so uncooperative? Why are they so unkind? Man, this uh, time's gone fast. Even though I haven't done a lot in this stream, it seems like it's flown by.
wish it had snow actually. I want to see if it still snows up here. You know, if it still so snows up here, Sarge? It used to, I'm pretty sure it used to. But now maybe I'm confused. Maybe it, it didn't. I'm pretty sure it did though. Yeah, not as much as Hammerdale. You know, because this is a sort of autumn map. Other times I come up here and I've already shot like eight ptarmigan. Like today, they keep flying away from me. So, bummer. But I can't complain, like really, you come out in this game and uh, you get what you get. Especially when you can't call the animals in. Which I don't mind actually. I think that's like the way of the hunter, right? Is that what it's called? That other hunting game? It's harder to get the animals. I might get that, but when it's like really on sale, when it's probably another year or two out, give it a try a lot of my friends didn't like it some liked it i think because it's more like this game it's harder to get the animals like you, you, they're not just running at you but i think on that map on that game that way of the hunter the animals grow like if you see a you know a pack of mule deer or say and you see a small male in it eventually that male if you leave it for like a few months, gets bigger. So that's a cool idea that they do that. So then you can really farm your flocks. You can say, oh, no, I'm not going to shoot that male, it's too small. Because, you know, you want it to get a bit bigger. And make it worth, you know, shooting. Yeah, still does up in the mountain area. Yeah, I thought it did. Because I remember being up here before and it just started to snow. I went, okay. Because I haven't been up here for a while, I, I don't, you know, they usually don't change the weather patterns in a game. So that's cool. That's good. I can hear a ptarmigan wing f flapping. Maybe if we walk this way. I really want to get one. Or two. Or three or four. <laughs> I'm greedy. going across that way. As long as you're really lucky and, you know, you get a flock after flock pretty much flying over the top here or right near you. Today, not one. They're all in the distance. Have they got radar now? Can they detect me? <laughs> what is going on? It's bad luck, but... Damn. Let's check on that knob up there. See if we can see a sheep. Or a puma. Puma! We've got to get lucky sooner or later, right? If it's harmogen. Yeah, so maybe my next hunt, I'm not sure which map I'll go. I probably won't come to Timbergold. I was thinking of going to White Heart today, but we did do that last week. And our Chinese friend dropped by and uh, 
started whistling and running. You gotta love that, don't you? Hey. It's like looking all over there, crouch, all they're doing. I'm gonna run over and whistle. <laughs> it's like, dude, what do you think we're crouched here for? As we hear a deer coming in. If you are a new player to this game, the best map to go for a new player is uh, Logger's Point. Because the guns they give you for free will kill every animal there. The rifle will kill um, the mule deer and white tail and the coyote. And then the shotgun will, will kill the pheasant, the rabbit. And uh, if you put a slug in, you can kill the pigs. And, uh, and that rifle will also... What is that map got? The lynx on it, I think? We'll shoot that. So, them free guns they give you with the ammo will take care of every animal on Logger's Point. And it actually is a good map to pheasant hunt on. Because they, they do pop up and just fly right across you sometimes. That's where I learned to hunt in this game. Because back then, I think the only free map you had was Logger's Point. Like you go there and uh, hunt the animals. And you didn't have to be a member back then. You just go to Logger's Point and shoot them animals. And then that would sort of get you addicted to the game and you ended up becoming a member. You know, you go, all right, I'm going to buy a membership for the year. I think that was, if I remember rightly, that was 70 bucks or close to it or something like that. And it gave you um, unlimited ammo for the guns you had. And then you had to go spend real money to buy the guns. You couldn't buy it with GM. So... There was only so many things you could buy of GM back then. So I did sink a lot of real money into this game at the start, like when as I was going along, to buy different rifles. And you thought, oh, I need a couple of tents. So you put a bit more real money in. Oh, I need a tree stand, you know, callers. Well, I think of callers, you could use GM for them. I'm pretty sure you, for some things you could. Bullets, maybe callers. But you couldn't get rifles with GM. You had to um, pretty much use your real money. Even though you paid for a membership for the year. And the best thing they did was make it free. Like, it's a totally free game now. You don't need real money. You just got to grind. It's not really a grind, you just come out and hunt. And at the end of the day, if you get 300 GM or, you know, how many GM that, you know, you get, you just put it towards whatever thing you're saving up for. What is that down there? Uh, is that the back of the... I'm really not sure there is. It could be the back of the railway thing, but it looks like it's in a precarious place. There's no railway there. I'm hearing, um... Tarmogen's flying again, I can't see him. Nice if they flew just right across here. Like I can hear wings flapping. Why are they so far away from me today? Where am I on this crazy map? I'm here. I might actually go to the back here, actually. 
Uh, let's get rid of all the marks. Let's put a mark here. Because I think it's a bit flat here. I'm uh, pretty sure I used to get Tarmogen around there. So I'm going to head there. Oh, now I can hear wings closer. Come on. Fly over me, dudes. Give me a break. It's a toss up. Sometimes you get more um, Tarmages than Hemadel once you get into that area. There seems to be a lot of them. And up here they're spread out all over this uh, top bit. But I've gotten a lot here before, so it's just the luck of the draw, really. These freaking rocks, mate. I'm stuck and I can't jump. Wish they had to put a jump in this game. Just a small jump. So when crap like that happens, you can jump. Just to get yourself unstuck. Hear him? I don't know if you guys can hear it through the system. I can hear it in my headphones. Flapping of wings. At least they put that in the game, so you can sort of indicate. Did you hear a bobcat? The old bobcat. And they got them, yeah, too. They got them at Loggers Point, bobcats. Maybe that's, maybe I said the wrong cat. Bob the cat lives at uh, Loggers Point. Oh, big horn. Went down that way. The big horn will sit on like steep areas like that. Like they're like them goats that can climb up anything. So don't be surprised if you see one in a really steep sort of area. That view down there, man. That's where we usually are. Going along the rivers. Getting this uh, wolf and mule deer and grizzlies. We did get one wolf at the start of the hunt because we walked up here from that outpost. There's a nice grey wolf. The male wasn't a bad size. And we heard a grizzly male that fleed. Like I said, I do find the female grizzlies attack more than the males for some reason. Which is cool. I don't mind. Right, I'm pretty sure it gets flat up here. A bit more flatter. I have gotten Tarmogen up here before, so... We'll go for a little uh, look-see. Keep our eye open for crazy sheep. Well, I can't complain. We did get a beautiful sheep to start this uh, hunt. We haven't got one since. That's probably why I don't stream up here that often because it does, you know, might get a bit boring. And then I've got to talk non-stop. <laughs> Lucky I can talk non-stop sometimes. We're getting close, I think two weeks out, if you've ever played Once Human or was interested. Two weeks out, I think, about two weeks, and that game will be back with another beta. So if you are interested, download the game, the client. You have to go, I think, to their site, Once Human, and you can download the game there. And it's not a scam, is what I can see. There's going to be no uh, pay to win. It is a beautiful big map. And there's going to be a few of us playing this time, so if you are interested, um, 
Let me know and I can let you know what server we're going to go on. We're going to go on a PvE server. And if we're on the same server, everyone, you can, you know, well then, that's where you start and all that. You can join friends and then uh, join their server, but it's best to be on the same server. And they're going to have a lot more uh, people in the game this time. So I think they only ran, like, two servers last time. So it limited it to how many people they could have in. I think this time they're going to have more. They might even have an Asian server. Which I'd be on because uh, I'm in Australia. I think I was on an American server last time. But it's a good game. I actually miss it. That it's you know I was getting so used to playing it and just enjoyed it. I do like an MMO and uh, the art style on that game and the monsters they had and. I don't mind gathering resources and building your own home and the building was very easy and the game wasn't hard at all. And the combat, the gunplay was really good. And I think as they do more beaters, the AI will get smarter. And it'll be harder, you know what I mean? So that's why it's a type of game you actually, when you come to the bosses, which are like in a dungeon, um, you can beat the first one alone, not a problem. Um, but then after that, like the second boss, I tried to beat it alone a few times, I even made special bullets and had good guns because the second boss is on a timer. Like it didn't kill me, but because I didn't kill it in time, um, where well you fail. So you need like three people, two people, at least three people would be good, or four, because that second one, and after that, I think they set them on a timer. So the thing, you know, you might avoid the damage it's throwing out and, uh, you know, have a lot of health stuff on you so you can uh, regenerate and bandage and stuff. I hear a sheep. But uh, because it's on a time, if you don't do it in the allotted amount of time, even though the thing hasn't killed you, you fail. Then once the timer runs out, it just sends out all this super duper damage and just <laughs> kills you. But it was a really interesting game. I just really love the concept and I think it's going to be a, a really good MMO. And it's going to be free. When it does come out eventually, it'll be on Steam. So most of us do use Steam, so that's cool. This sheep is maybe coming towards me, man. We've seen a couple of tracks. Sounds like it's in front of me. Keep my eyes peeled because of these stupid headphones. So there's tracks down there, probably sheep tracks. Nice, uh, nice ram would be a good, another one, or any, you know, as long as it's a male, not a female, would be awesome. As if we can, uh, if it does keep walking towards us. Yeah, if you don't know what once human is, I did make a few videos on it, and there are a lot of videos on YouTube that explain it a lot better than I do. Um... I just done some live streams on it. It's just one of those quirky games. And it is a, you know, it's a big open map, big open world. There is teleport system in it. You've got to open up the teleport towers to teleport. You can't just teleport. You actually got to open towers up to do it. And you got to eat, you got to drink. There's a motorbike in the game that you are, uh, once you get a higher level, you can build. And it's a little garage that, it, you know, platform it stays on. And then you got to get uh, petrol to, uh, you know, you got to fill it up with petrol. Or gas, as you Americans say. 
And, uh, yeah, so everything you do in the game, and, you know, you've got to gather resources, copper, wood, iron, you know, all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of nodes. Oh, there it is. There's a lot of nodes around for you to do that. So, man, it's the second one that's super close. All right, well, they're walking up on me today, the sheep. So that's really nice. So I'll pick our furry friend up. It's not as big as our first one. Obviously, the big one, the other one had really big, thick, freaking horns on it. So we might be taxidermizing this. We hit the spine. I should have been high. We're gonna get only twenty nine. Yeah, the other one, I think we got sixty something. So uh, before we leave, we'll have to check the competition and see where I stand and how many people are in it, though. Because it might have just started recently, and uh, there might not be a lot of people in it, and that's why I was leading. Cool, at least we've got two sheep. So now, hopefully, <laughs> we can get a ptarmigan. Although, it doesn't seem very hopeful with these little buggers today. Yeah, I know I've been rambling on about once human a bit, but I did really like the game. If you don't know what it is, check out uh, stuff on YouTube, and you might like it. Like it's uh, it's going to be a totally free game. And it has missions, and you know, there's people that send you on sort of like a quest, you could say, a mission. And then you have the towns, and when you get to a town, they have a, you know, a couple of ammo boxes and a special box that you've got to find to complete the town, and they're always hidden. And every town is different, they don't really use the same assets, like, um, say, like um, some games, like EW made a game that call the robots, I can't remember the name of it, set in Sweden in the 70s or 80s. And they use a lot of the same buildings in every town, where this game does not do that. Every time you go to a, a different a town, it's different, it's totally different. And the map changes, you go from like foresty area to desert, to you know, it just changes every area. I can hear Tarmogens again. Yeah, so if you like free games and something totally different, it's a good game to try it because it's going to cost you nothing. And yeah, you're quite welcome to play a fuss. I've got already three dudes. Me and Haggis and uh, Boomslank. I think that's the, the way to... Like it is... They even the developers said it's a cooperative game. Especially when you come across you know, in some towns, man, you get swamped and then uh when like I said, when you fight the bosses. Apart from the first one, after that you need more people with you. You can't do it alone. Now unless you've probably got, you know, high end uh weaponry, which you know, I just had standard uh semi machine gun and uh then I got another machine gun and I had the shotgun. You get a crossbow. So when you start, you sort of have a crossbow and I think they give you a pistol. So you've got to make the crossbow, you've got to go out and get some wood and I think some uh, copper. And you make the crossbow and you have your pistol. Then after that, you find blueprints for weapons. And once you have enough blueprints, you can make like the shotgun and you can make the, you know, small machine gun. I actually found that really involving, like you, you sort of, oh, we don't need this blueprint, oh, I need, you know, to go over and get this stuff. And once I had the motorbike, I just travelled around the map on the motorbike a lot. And opened up a teleport station so I could just easily teleport across. That was cool. That's the second uh, male sheep that's just walked up on us. But my headphones, I thought it was ahead of me and it came out from this side. So I think these headphones I got, they're only cheap crap and my other one's broke that I was so used to. You hear it, but it's giving you the wrong direction of the sound. So that's a real bummer. <laughs> it's 
this game is pretty accurate where the sound's coming from. These headphones aren't. Man, we not, might not get a Tarmogen. I'll keep walking this way. We have been. This is another, could be another sheep track. I've been lucky, no female sheep, so only two, but they've both been males. Fleeing, I'd heard the gunshot. But no, you shot my brother. I did flee this way. We might just get down and look across the the way here. Might have fleed it a fair bit and then just stopped. perch on this rock here. Yeah, so I won't get my score up uh, much today or get much GM. Although, I didn't have to buy any bullets or anything today, so whatever I do earn today is sort of profit. I've been pretty accurate. Two shots, or three shots, three kills. So <laughs> we're not wasting bullets. But the 7 mil, I reckon you could hit the sheep in the leg and the 7 mil bullet would probably pretty much kill it almost straight away. Kill it from uh, shock. I don't know what the Tarmogen are doing me, to me today. They're not playing the game. They're uh, staying very far away from me. And today the sheep are walking up on me, so it's a reversed uh, situation. It's usually the Tarmogen are flying overhead, and you see a sheep over there, and you go, right, I've got to take a long shot. <laughs> hey? It's totally different today. They've reversed roles. They're pretty damn weird. I don't mind, though. There, Look, right there. See how they're hard to see sometimes? This is what I mean by you got to take a long shot. You just see it in the distance and you go, right, that's... Uh... Oh, he's moving. He's moving. I need you to stand still, buds. Uh, it looked like it could be another male. I didn't really check on the square what it was telling me. It's going by the horns. It looked like it might be a male. That's probably the one that fleed. I reckon they only flee so far. And then you just, you know, get to a clearing like this and just stop and have a look around. Alright, I am stuck. And, uh, yeah, sometimes if you're smarter hunter than me, you would have used the binoculars and... Uh, put a dot in front of you so you know exactly where the animal is. Sometimes you can lose them if you get turned around because uh, all these areas look pretty much similar. So probably about a 90 meter shot or something like that. I don't know. Probably less than 100, but here's our sheep here. But I've got to remember sometimes then once you shoot it, pull out the binoculars, just spy it and uh, put a dot just so you don't lose it. In case something weird goes, you know, wrong, you fall down a hill or something. Alright, this could be bigger than our last one, but not bigger than the first one. Oh, hit the left lung. Oh, how many metres? 75 metre shot. I said about 90. So 29 and 96. And it is another male. Three males today. Oh, yeah, but we're not making a lot of money. But that's not the point of today's hunt. It's just to come out and have a bit of fun. Now, if you want to make money, you know, duck hunt, goose hunt, even bison hunt on white rhyme. If you use, uh, you know, I use a bow and arrow a lot on them because you can sneak up on the 
say, herd, and you just bow an arrow on through the head when they come to charge at you. And as the others are running off, you just shoot at them. And you, I've made a lot of money with uh, the bison over there. I'll have to go there again. We haven't been in White Rhine for a while. So I might uh, next hunt or a few I might go down there. Because it's got some nice moose on that map too. And the Sitka deer, they're not too bad. And if you go to the other end, you can get the polar bear and the, the other sheep that's on there. I forget the exact name now. The snow sheep, and you get the snow hare. And the, the arctic fox, they look pretty nice. A lot of albino looking animals on that map that aren't albinos. They're just there. It's their natural colour. So I don't think you can get an albino polar. You probably could get an albino polar bear. I don't know, because they don't have the pink nose and pink eyes. But they're all white anyway. It'd be nice to get a bigger polar bear for the lodge. That's why I want to get another lodge soon. Because, uh... I could almost, uh, you know... Start a new lodge and have some animals straight away for it. Let's try and find a, a sheep. I don't think we're going to get a tarmage in there being, um, they're being mongrels, mate. They're not playing the game. And that was the, <laughs> the thumbnail I used was a tarmagen. And you can see another one, on, that was from a video, how close they can get to you. I was flying right by me. It's funny because sometimes the, oh, maybe that first sheep had some friends behind him that I didn't see because we did see a few fleeing tracks. But usually the sheep hang around a little group. And you know, there could be two males and two or three females. Today the, a lot of them have been single. Just single males. Maybe except for that first one. But I didn't see any other sheep, but I did see fleeing tracks. Maybe I'm just getting lucky and the males are popping out first and, uh, yeah, just getting lucky with that. Well, that was our first uh, sheep that we actually had to shoot at any sort of distance. So it's not too bad. I come over here looking for Tarmogen and I found two sheep. So, you know, pretty cool. But it hasn't snowed here today. No snow. Maybe if you stayed here like the whole hunt, like a whole day hunt, at some stage you'd probably maybe get uh, some snow. Man, it is getting hot in this room now, I'm telling you. So, got three days of this heat. Then after that I think it goes back to the 20s more bearable so I've done a bit of food shopping yesterday so hopefully for the three days I don't have to go out <laughs> I just stay home oh, we walk well past that marker right yeah I'll put another marker around here Oh, if I can, uh, one ahead of me. So that we find. Yeah, so I don't know where to go for the next hunt. Um, not sure. I was even thinking of going to Settlers Creek today. The most, uh, unused map in the whole game, probably. But it does have turkey, black bear, elk, uh, feral hog. Uh, the rabbits it's got on there. It has a few things on that map, but uh, 
Yeah, it's probably one of the most uh, not used maps in the whole uh, Hunter Classic game, Settlers Creek. It's just one of those maps. It didn't quite, uh, yeah, it's a nice map, but it just didn't quite make the grade, I think. It's not on everyone's I want to go and hunt their list. Like, I haven't been there in ages, to be honest. I think this year, that was uh, Settlers Creek with Halloween was for the werewolf. I didn't even bother going this year. I was hoping they'd have it at Australia again because it was so easy to, uh, you know, you could see better on the Australian map. It wasn't as dark. So when you heard bloody werewolf feet running at you, you got a good chance of seeing it coming at you before it uh, actually killed you. So I didn't mind it on the Australian map two years ago. Because they used to just do it on Timber Gold, but now they seem to be changing the maps. Every and see over there, once we walk into that bit, I think you go back to Alp, Wolf, Bear, Mule Deer, all that stuff. So we nearly uh, walked right across the top here. I don't think we're going to find any sheep now. You know, three sheep, one wolf, I suppose, you know, in two hours, that's sometimes what you can expect from this game. Oh. And we didn't hear one uh, cat today. At all. Usually you hear them in the distance, but can't see them. So let's walk into this uh, little forest bit anyway. Uh, that's the map for the community comp, Cotton Tower on our Settlers Creek. Now, I've done a couple of the community things, but, uh, yeah, I haven't bothered since. If it's an animal that I'm really interested in, I might do it. You put up a bear barrel when it was black bear. Fair enough. Yeah, I got a couple of bear barrels. I haven't used them in ages, but they do come in handy if you're in a comp. Fill it up with the food they eat, and uh, do you still have to wait a whole day before it attracts the bears, or does it uh, happen quicker now? Remember, you'd have to put the food and like come back pretty much the next day before you found bears hanging around it. Maybe they shorten that time. Because, you know, if you are in a comp, that probably gives you more chance of finding a big uh, big bear when you have... It sounds like we used to do it, and uh, you'd have, like, four bears around your bear barrel. And then you have other bears coming towards it, so... They are handy. Yeah, see, now we're getting back into the normal part of the map. Even though we're still sort of high up here. So we walked right across the top there. So what we do today, we walk from here. And we walked right across the top. And here we are here. So it looks like that could be a bit of snow there. Okay, it's got a white cap on that ridge. So once you walk out of here, yeah, you probably won't find any more sheep or ptarmigans once you walk a bit further down here. Probably even come across like a dead zone where none of the animals sort of go until you uh, walk down a bit more. And my uh, football's back here uh, in Australia, the AFL. My team won the grand final last year and it's their first game back tonight. I think it's 7 o'clock at night or 7.30. Something like that. It could be a bit earlier. 
So we're playing, uh, we're not playing at home, we're playing in uh, Sydney. So You think four hours for the barrels? Alright, that's not bad. As you can, you know, put it in the morning and then come back for your afternoon hunt and the barrel will be working. So it's got to have time to attract the bears and the bears to find it and then the bears to come in and start to eat out of it. And, you know, it all takes time. It can't happen magically in five minutes, which I totally understand. And that's all fair enough, really. This game does have a lot of uh, patience tied to it. You need a bit of patience. But when you are in a comp, and if you're going after a certain animal, you sort of focus in on that. Like you just, you know, if you're right into the comp, you just sort of focus in and go, right, I'm just going to, you know, going to hunt a bit more serious now. No mucking around. Which is cool. What we might do, just for... I don't have a camping gear. Damn your camping gear. We might fast travel to here. And for like 20 minutes, I might walk down to uh, here. I can get camping gear from uh, my inventory now. So, uh, equipment. Hello, equipment. Camping gear. So now, once it's in, I should be able to travel to here. Oh, I have to wait 30 minutes because I just fast traveled here. Like, get out of game. <laughs> I hate when it does that. Yeah, but someone was asking me about the camping gear. As long as you've got it on you, now you, you know, although I've just traveled there, so it's a pain in the butt. Um, so it won't let me straight away travel again. But if you're out there and you want to travel to your tent, I'm just trying to put a dot there, okay? Um, yeah, you can, uh, as long as you've got the camping gear on you and you just haven't teleported like I just did then, um, you can, uh, as long as you've got the camping gear on you, you can uh, then teleport to your tents. It's not magic, it's just uh, as long as you've got the camping gear on you. Uh, so I'm going to go down here and have a little elk hunt. And then we'll head back up and uh, I'll put the tax, you know, that taxidermized ram. We'll whack it in the lodge and have a look at it. And then by then it's going to be a thousand degrees outside and I'll have to uh, stop playing and put the fan on. I'm not going to use the aircon because it just costs too much for the electricity. So I'm just going to bear it, mate. Grin and bear it. Oh, hang on. Okay, I, I am a stupid man. Let's run back to where we can uh, do the inventory. Looking for the eye to come up. I, 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 there we go. And of course the music to play. All right, we get rid of the shotgun stuff and the camping stuff because it's not gonna help me. Is it now? All right, so we'll, uh, Get that, get that, get out of here. Um, blah, 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 blah. And the uh, compound standard. Bingada, bangada, I won't need too many. And just here, we'll whack in the wolf squeaker in case. There it is. And uh, yeah, we've got deer, elk, squeaker. And we've got the bow and arrow now. Um, don't need the shotgun. Sometimes you wander off and go, oh God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Although, luckily, there is a tent down here. So if I did forget, I could go straight to the tent and uh, get the bow and arrow out. Because if you've got to stand down here, so if you hunt in the elk, it's best to use the bow and arrow and... Uh, there could be another fellow walking in behind it. And it's just down here, it'll only take us five minutes to walk here, so I won't actually press Q and uh, just uh, automatically walk and have a sip of my cold coffee. 
Ah, nearly Easter. So I bought my first uh, batch of hot cross buns <laughs> for the season. It's amazing. It's the day after Christmas, you go down to the supermarket and there's hot cross buns in there. Yeah, Jesus Christ, mate. It's a bit, <laughs> a bit fast, isn't it? So I haven't bought any, and then yesterday I thought I'll buy some because it's going to be hot, so I can just sort of have a couple of buns for lunch or something. Ah, back in the valley. Now we can hear the, the ravens, so that means there's a dead carcass somewhere. They're flying around it. So they'll attract wolf. Man, I got a nice uh, Roosevelt oak last week. I tell you, that was uh, that's probably the biggest Roosevelt oak I've ever gotten. All right, straight away we got some uh, Rocky Mountain oak, female. But yeah, when I first shot that Roosevelt oak, I was 17th on the leaderboard. Now I'm like 52nd or something. So, <laughs> duh, it doesn't take long to be shuffled down the pack. But I did taxidermize it and turned it into a skull uh, trophy. And uh, it's in my lodge. There's something like that. You don't need the whole body. Um, you just look, want to look at the antlers. And with the skull thing, uh, it looks pretty cool. I have been killed by bears here before. We didn't bring the pistol, so they could die again. Well, we'll probably be lucky. I'll soon get a couple of uh, elk, a couple of Rocky Mountain elk. You get a lot of them around here. There's a lake down there. We've got the forest here. They seem to like this area a bit. How far have we walked today? Six Ks. A bit over six and a half Ks. Usually I say like if you have a 10 K walk, it's not a bad sort of hunt you've had because you walk 10 Ks. If you walk 20, well, good on you. <laughs> you've had a huge hunt. I don't call usually till I get to the stand here. I just don't want them uh, coming at me while I'm walking. There we go. There's one there. Average size one. Oh, what are these? Anyone know? I asked last time. See these lumps of stuff? Are they supposed to be King Kong's poop or something? like? I don't know what they are. Termite mounds? What are they supposed to be? Oh. Something just ran. There's no explanation for those things. I have no idea what they are. But they are all over the, this part of the map. It looks like a big poop. <laughs> hey, it's pretty good how this game still kicks ass really doesn't it like you know if, if you played this game before and you're into it you know what I mean it's just one of those games you could spend the whole day in here and just you know on the one map hunting because this map's uh, big enough to do that. Because you can go to your favourite spots and then walk along the river, and then go to the other stands up the other end of the map, and uh, 
Yeah, just sit back and enjoy yourself. I remember when this map came out and I first hunted it, I fell in love with it. Okay, yeah, this has got to be the best map in uh, the Hunter Classic. I still feel that way in a way. This is one of my favourite maps to come to and just, you know, chill out and uh, get the bow and arrow out and bring a rifle and uh, see what happens. I think it would be nice if they do put one more animal on this map eventually. I don't know what. Like, I don't know what lives in, in these sort of woods in America. But I think because you've got the bighorn sheep up the top and the ptarmigans, they're probably going to, you know, not put any more animals on this map. And, of course, the, the cat that lives up there. They do have a few things on the map, it's just it's spread out over such a big distance. Alright, here's our stand. We've got a lot of, look at all the tracks around here, man. Wolves, pack of wolves have been through. Let's get in here and just drop a few calls and we'll see if we can uh, scare something up. Oh, gotta go like that. Enter and uh, stand up because it this uh, sort of makes you in the bobbing uh, crouch down position. <coughs> We're gonna call a wolf. Where the wind is blowing. Any indication? Seems mornings are usually best here and we've you know missed the best part of that. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's early afternoon in the game. But I can still hear them uh, ravens crowing away, so there could be some wolf around. We did see wolf tracks back there. <coughs> Come on down. Get yourself a free arrow. Might be free your lungs or your head, but... uh. Who cares? <laughs> Trouble is here sometimes the wolf just sneak in on you. You don't even hear him coming. Oh, what was that? Was that a bear? It was a bear. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's walking towards us or not. <coughs> not that I can call it in, but um... Oh, there's a female elk. We don't want you. Bring your dad along, we'll be happy. <coughs> I'm not sure the bear will be walking down to the... They do walk through here. Because there's a lake down on that side, it could be walking towards a lake. Which enters the river system, so... Let's sit back and see if it walks near us. Hey, as soon as you call a wolf, the next minute it's right there. Like it's sneaked in and it's right... You know, beside you. I'm hearing something walk. It could be that female elk. Doesn't sound like a bear. Oh, it's a male. 
You didn't even call. There we go. That's what I like this spot for elk. Like they, they, they are around here a lot. And he just snuck in, snuck on in. Oh, I don't really want the female. I just get rid of her. So I made a few bucks out of that mail now. Or was that a... I might have been just a fluff going by my screen. Was it, a, was it a wolf? What is that over there? Oh, it's another male. Small one, I think. I can only see the... Oh, it's not too bad. This is where I usually come. If I'm in a elk comp, I usually come to this spot first. You seem to get more here than walking along the river and stuff. I really do like this area, but the wind now is going to be a pain. It's flying towards this mongrel. I'm hearing something else walking. Oh, there's a wolf. See, look, a wolf is coming. Oh, you didn't die? Please die. Scared the wolf off. Damn that bad shot. Damn you. I think I shot too forward. I hit it in the neck though. I'm hearing something else walking. I have no idea what it is. Oh, is that the bear? Oh, the wolf, look, two wolves were there. See what I mean, how they walk up on you and you don't even realise they're there? So this area's jumping a bit today. Oh, they do tend to sneak up on you here. Was that a bear growling? Or am I just hearing shit? I'm hearing stuff. Be nice if a bear saw you here and tried to attack you, like it was attacking the, the standard of the course and whatnot. Like, yes! I hope that elk that we shot doesn't get too far. Termite mounds, is that what they are? They should have whacked termites on them. At least one termite on the top with a little flag going, yep, termite mound. <laughs> Yeah, man, a few wolf hanging around. We'll pick our buddy up here. Up to him, we'll see what we've done to the other one if we've injured it sufficiently enough. Get rid of this female first. She's not going to be worth anything. At least I could have made them worth, you know, like three GM. But no, no, they did not. Alright, you're gonna get a 62, 342. It's nice, it's 62. And we do have a little bit of blood here. Uh oh. Now I'm hearing something else. Oh, it's a female, I'm not gonna worry about that. So we've hit this in the lung, apparently. If we've had it, it won't get too far. Oh yeah, hemophilia. Keep bleeding, baby. Keep bleeding. The blood. Oh yeah. I was going to say, we've hit the neck, and sometimes when you hit the neck, it'll just follow through into one of the lungs at least. I oh, this shouldn't get too far at all. This is like super elk. I 
Look at every every uh, spot's flood. There's no footsteps. It's just bleeding out. It's running pretty straight too. More blood. Oh come on! This thing's gonna be dead just down here, mate. More blood. I right, keep running straight if you can. Look around, look around. Ah, right, over here, got a track. Alright, it's fleeing now. Let's hope it just keeps running pretty straight at the moment. That'd be cool. Alright, might have diverted here. Oh. Real dear. Use the rock to our advantage, eh? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up on it, am I? I am. I can't. I can't. I can't. Right, so that's sort of that way. There. Yeah, it's not very big. By the looks of it, it's uh, pretty standard. So he's uh, going to walk in shaking his head. But that itself could be worth 40, you know, 40 um, GM. Something like that. Let's give it another toot. So I got it all happening down here at this part. We heard a bear, we saw some wolf, got some elk, and now we've got a mule deer. Yeah, it's only a tiny one. Hopefully the wind's fine. It should be because before it was behind our back and now we've swung around to a different uh, posse. So it should be blowing at our face. Well, at least across our body, not at our back. I'm hoping that's uh, what's happening. Right now we've lost sight of him. He's in this area here somewhere. So we just wait. Oh. Oh, there's the carcass. We found the, the dead uh, carcass where the wolves were hanging. There he is. I was say I found me out, but no, it's the, it's the carcass. I might shoot this with the gun, I don't know. Let's see what he does. And sniff. There you go. Have a bark. You're all good, buddy. Do not look at me. I am not here. Ah, I knew it, knew it, knew it, man. As soon as they stop light and look in your direction, you're done, son, you're done. Right, let's get back and find uh, our elk track. As you can see, it's running a really straight line. So maybe the wind then gave me away. I don't think it had seen us yet. 
so the wind probably blew and then it looked in our direction and it's like yep he's over there he wants to shoot me no we should be close to a dead elk here somewhere hopefully Hopefully it kept running straight. If not, we'll have to do the old circle jerk. Another termite mount. That's what I thought they were. It's just uh, I never see termites on it. So I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, I thought maybe a king size, size uh, cow had walked through and done a poop. Oh, bears. Oh, I want to walk towards it and see if uh, it goes bananas at us. It's up here somewhere. Oh, there's a track right there. Hopefully she gets aggressive and doesn't run away from us. When the grizzlies first come in, I don't know if you can do it now, they'd make that sound and you could run at them. And like a, probably like five times out of ten, that would make them aggressive and charge you. There it is, there it is, it's run. Oh, alright, back to the elk track. I want it to run at me, not run away from me. Because then at least you get a shot, right? It's coming straight at you, so... It's like highly likely you're going to just put the bullet through its head and get a brain shot in. Alright. Let's find this sulk so I don't have to keep running up and back to this freaking track. And get stuck on rocks. Alright. I'm going to actually head up here maybe a bit. We'll do a circle till we find the next track. Is this it? I don't think it ran straight. Are you... Oh, this could be... oh here's another one here. Is this it? Ah, blood, blood. Good, good, good. We're on the right path. But since this thing has bled so much, I'm thinking it's not going to be too far. I'm hoping. Let's put it that way. I'm hoping. Alright, fleeing. Now, did you go straight, big boy? Yes, you did. Oh, we got it up here. It's dead, man. Let's uh, stop running. We've got a body. I was going to say, I don't think it should get too far, like, seriously. If it hit the lung and it bled that much, well, damn it all, you should be dead. Alright, what do you reckon this is worth? 50? we we'll hit the left lung through the neck, and it's worth 53. And it's a 318. So that's cool, since we've been here, we've made, like, a, a bit over 100. GM. I might call Elk and just see if there's any around the area. <coughs> this could be our bear track here. The bear that ran away, you little chicken. Do not run. Do not run away. Yeah. Then it fleed. I like them to uh, attack, man. Do not be chickens. Oh, I think I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. It's up here again. Ah, oh, dead ahead in a way. Grizzly tracking up to level 13. Awesome. It's good to get a little uh, thing like that every time you hunt, isn't it? So an upgrade. 
your tracking levels and stuff like that. Oh look, it's uh, the wrecked house thing. It's where the farmers used to live and the zombies came that night and killed them all. It was horrific. There were no bodies to bury, just parts. Parts of bodies, half a face, all that sort of stuff. It was awesome. There's the old toilet. Right, so, please bear run at me. Even if you kill me, I don't mind. Right, here's the track here. I think it's not going to attack me. They do that sound, don't they, when they are attack, you can tell. Are you running? Are you fleeing? Are you roaming? Oh, I'm hearing something. Was the bear running? It didn't sound like an elk. I think the bear might have just, uh... Said no! And ran away. How oh, dare you. This looks like a bit of a bear and I'll carry it, doesn't it? Oh, what is this track now? Well, another bear. Oh, I am stuck. I am stuck. I hate when that happens. So here's this track here. That went this way fleeing. That could have been the one I heard running. We'll track one, but there was another one we didn't see that ran like a chicken. I can't see the next track. Thank you, bear. Did you go up? Did you go down? As you saw it way up there and you shot it in the butt and it just fell. And it rolled right into you. Oh, cool, like a drive through. Drive through grizzly. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can see. If not, we'll go to the lodge and we'll put the ram up. Because then I've got a few things to do today. And uh, I'm going to put my fan on soon. It's very hot now. I'm not sure this thing's... Let me check again. I'm not sure this uh, temperature was right. Oh, 34 now, they reckon. Alright, 34. And the forecast... Uh, current weather now is 36. So now they're saying today 36 to 25, tomorrow 36 to 20, and 35 to 21, and then 26. But then I had another weather today. And maybe I, I, I not, don't have it up anymore. And it said today it was going to get to 40. So awesome uh, stuff. Yeah, and I've got the big game tonight, so I want to watch that. Hopefully my team wins. Like, seriously. First game out after winning the grand final. It's not even on our own home ground. We have to go to uh, Sydney. And play the Giants up there. So, awesome. Uh, looks like we've run out of bears. <laughs> They're all, uh, no one's attacking today. <laughs> Oh, 
あれはライブで。So, that's that like thing, yeah? We're on the map. Ah,、oh, yeah, that's that like there. That's what we're looking at. I think if you come up here, that's where the paddle steamer thing is. The dredge, yeah, it's in that part there. That's a good map, this, really big. And we've,、uh, how many Ks we've done now on the map? Nearly 8 Ks. And it's usually say, like a 10k walk in、uh, this game, so not a bad hunt. I think of、uh, all the bears have nicked off. I was hoping to get one. So, what we're going to do now is、uh, hopefully I can, I can、uh, teleport.、Um, hello, game. There we go. We can、uh, game start doing stupid stuff. Oh, now I'm out calls when I leave there. Oh, it's just. I don't know, it's down there. Oh, don't worry about the elk. Let's、uh, take this、uh, handy thing out of our hands. Is this the lodge here? We'll put the ram down. I should be able to find somewhere to put it. Alright, so go to、uh, my lodge. And we're in. Oh, we're in a dark room. Maybe we're going to take some photographs. I、oh, know, here we are. Yeah, there's、uh, last week's、uh, one. See, I put it on、uh, just on the skull. Because all you really want to do is see them antlers, right? So, where can I fit the freaking、uh, ram? Maybe where the wolf is. I don't know. It'd be nice if I could fit where the fox is. Let's、uh, remember how to do this. Alright, so we're looking for a medium platform. What fits on that? Oh, here. Here's the ram. Oh, the fox. So, can we take the fox off? Put the ram on. Resume the game. And there she is. There she blows, fellas. Look at that. That's,、uh, that is、uh, one. 88.7. It's a dark color, and there's some beautiful horns, man. It's a.、Uh, what, what poses do you have? Hang on. How do I do that again? I thought I just flicked the.、Uh, oh, there we are. There we go. Oh, look at it jumping. Yeah, and I like it similar. I'm gonna maybe face it that way, because now it's facing into the room. I usually don't like the jumping action sort of things. But that's not bad, is it? That was our first one. I was gonna say, when I looked at it, I went, wow, that's dark. I was wondering, half wondering if it was melanistic, but it wasn't like that blacky color. But yeah, that must have,、uh, must be on variations on the fur. So, 188. And why wouldn't I, you know, taxidermize that? Look at that. That is a beauty. And that was their first one. As soon as I shot that, I thought, well, we're not going to get another big, big, you know, big horn sheep than that. That is,、uh, I have to move this rabbit so and get something else to put in that spot. I don't think I have anything for here.、Uh, you're on a small, what would you be on? Something small. No, you're not there.、Uh, bird park? Is that what it is? No, we have a bird there.、Um, I don't know what you call that thing. Alright, there's the rabbit. I might take the rabbit off. Can I take the rabbit off? Oh, I can put the. I can, oh no, that's, that's not it. A small round platform. Where's the white rabbit? Surely it's not on a medium one. Am I missing something here? Full body? Ah, let's just go through them all, see where we find the rabbit on the side here.
it's a large platform. Oh, I've got the goose on that. Uh, I don't know what this rev is sitting on. It's not that or that. Yeah, I have no idea. Resume game. Where'd it go? Oh, look, it's gone. I actually deleted it, so it was on one of those things. Oh, it was gone. That's cool. I was getting sick of looking at that rabbit anyway. So yeah, now we've got the bighorn sheep in here, which is new. None of these are new. They're all old. That's uh, fairly new. Um, that was when the Hemmerdale Christmas uh, thing was on. And uh, this isn't too old either. It was the blonde uh, grizzly. So I thought I'd uh, taxidermize it. That's last week. So... And then, uh, I think that was a couple of weeks ago too, I thought I'd keep a grey wolf. Yeah, and this is today's, so I really like that ram. What we're going to do just before I leave, we'll check, I'm in a competition, so we'll see. But I don't think there was many people in it, to be honest, so. Uh, what did we get today? Not a lot. We collected an antler. We killed uh, three elk. One was a female. We got uh, three big horned sheep and one wolf. That was our first animal today. So if we go to competitions, I show you the first. I'll just show you the picture of the the elk last week. Oh, here's today's uh, not a really good picture. Of this because it's in the dark. Look. That was me, um, Ram. So, pity, um, yeah, damn it, in the dark. But that was last week's Hulk. Nice, uh, that's probably the best, uh, Roosevelt I've ever gotten. So, if I go back to Classic and look at competition, oh, and sh that shrinks for some stupid reason, I go to comps that I'm in. Alright, so big horn sheep. Apparently I'm coming first, but you watch, there's probably only going to be like four people in it or some crap. There's six players. So I've got a 188. Now, if we look at the history of this, like uh, February's, we'll see what. 163, what was the leaderboard? One six three, so I've already beaten that. But there was only three players in that one. What about January? One eight four, I beat that as well at the moment. Damn. So let's go back to my one and see what scores people have. So I could get another trophy here, guys, if uh, if we can hold out. Score to beat one eight eight. And the leaderboard, I think it's 165 or 150. So, um, and if I do win, what do I get? Overview. I get a trophy. Oh, no, M's. I don't get any money. Sometimes you get like, um, you know, 100, or you might get 50 there. And if you come third, you might get 25. But obviously, uh, and when's this end? 10th of March, and today is, in Australia, it's the 9th of March, so it's got a couple of days to go, so if I'm lucky, I can hold that position, I knew it was a good uh, ram, and uh, yeah, it would look good in my uh, trophy cabinet, I haven't gotten one for a while, last time I got a silver uh, duck on January 14, and then like nearly a year ago after Feral Hog Silver there. These are all like Halloween, that's the Christmas one. So, um, there's my last gold, which was a reindeer. January 2022. Biggest reindeer. That was a beauty. As soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, that's, uh, that's going to be an awesome uh, reindeer. So, 
So yeah, hopefully I can get another trophy for my little cabinet here because I do like um, do like getting them. And you are lucky if you do get it. We were lucky that was the first one that popped out, and it's a big uh, it's a big mongrel. So uh, hopefully um, that can hold. It's uh, no one gets a bigger one, but I reckon that should be at least top three anyway. Now with this now, how many uh, let's check here confirm kills with this thirteen hundred. That's this bow that I use is pretty high now. 1,300 kills with that. And with the bull pup, 735. So I do use that a lot. Um, I've got a fair few with the 4570. And a fair few, I don't use this anymore, the 300. I used to use that when I started. That was one of my starting guns. So yeah, I used to use that a lot. I don't use these shotguns anymore, really. Because I'm using the G10 so much. And the G10... Where are you, G10? There it is. Yep, you know, so the Birdshot 510. 5 with the Buck and uh, 47 with the Slug. 224 with that little Werewolf gun. And there's the Werewolf shotgun, 69. So yeah, I still got a ways to go. Like, what is my score? Six hundred. I'm nearly at the seventeen thousand. So, and I'm ranked three thousand five hundred. I remember when I started this game, I was always holding like in the top one thousand rank. Although it's still a long way from the top, but yeah, I have dropped off considerably because uh, probably don't play as much as I used to when I started this. There's me dogs. I keep forgetting to bring out seven. I'll bring her out again soon. She's level 30 and Buster's level 35. So I haven't used the unis. I used to take this dog everywhere for me. But uh, once I got this dog, I took this one. I use this one now for bird hunting. You know, with the ducks and the geese and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. That's the only time Buster comes out. But, yeah. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to go have a rest now because uh, this is probably the most I've spoken in four days. And uh, I'm starting to get a bit of a sore throat and it's getting really hot. And uh, yeah, I've probably got to go feed the birds. Check, I've got two bird baths here, especially in the hot weather. I like them to um, have water. It's just the wild birds, but uh, I like them to come here and uh, sing songs and I'll look after them a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I might be back tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if it is, it'll be later in the day, like starting now or... You know, a bit earlier than this, actually. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we'll see what happens. And uh, thanks for keeping me company, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.